Hello, grade two. So this is our last subject. So last two, last time we learned about the thick, the texture of music, the thinness and thickness of sound. So multiple melodic lines may be single or multiple. So what is single melodic lines? Single melodic lines are melodies sung with no accompaniment. So they are simple melodies. They may be sung by one person or by many at the same time. So they are together, same time. Single melodic lines produce thin sounds. So some of the songs that you can sing are Magtani May Dibiro, Atin kupong sing sing, sit 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 and tinikling. So we have also a round song. I introduced this one to you last time, right? The round song is a piece of music in which one group for sings first a line or several lines of the song, and then while the first group is, is still singing, the another group joins and starts singing the first line, right? Remember the are you sleeping, right? They continue singing together until the song ends. Round songs are melodies sung repeatedly by groups and sung at different intervals. So this one is an example of thick texture. Kasi there are two or three or more groups and then they are singing the, they're singing it with different intervals so some of the songs that we can sing in round songs are merrily we roll are you sleeping brother john row row your boat three blind mice twinkle twinkle little star and it's cuts land burning so this one is multiple a while ago it's the single melodic so this one is multiple melodic lines are two or more melodies that are sung or played together. They could also be main melodies sung with accompaniment. Multiple melodic lines produce thick sounds. So round songs are songs that have multiple musical lines. Please get your book, open it on page 118. Number one, uh, identify what is being described. Choose your answer from the list below and write your answer on the answer line. So the choices are single melodic lines, magtanim ay dibiro, three blind mice, round, multiple melodic lines. So number one, simplest melody sung with no accompaniment. Number two, melodies sung repeatedly by groups and sung at different intervals. Number three, a round song that can produce multiple melodic lines. Next, number four, a song with single melodic lines. And number five, melodies sung together or simultaneously and sometimes with chords and accompaniment. Okay, so please close your book and let us proceed with our arts. For our arts, we're going to talk about paper mache animals. So a paper mache is an artwork using paper that are stuck together onto objects using wet paste like gau gau paste, starch, or glue. When the paper and the paste dry up, the crafted object becomes hard and strong. It is then painted and decorated with some desired details. Common paper mache figures are of those animals. There are also other things made of paper mache. So these are examples of paper mache. Now, there are some famous places in the Philippines that are famous for paper mache products, the town of Paete in Laguna and some nearby places. Local craftsmen are known for creating taka of different animals. A taka is the Filipino version of the horse piñata. 
which originated from Paete, Laguna. Tapas are usually painted with primary colors. So the traditional and common subjects of taka includes animals like horse, chicken, carabao, and maiden. But because of the commercial demand here and abroad, subjects of the taka have expanded to toys, Christmas decors, Santa Claus, reindeers, giraffes, and others. So this one. Another place in the Philippines that is famous for paper mache is Angono Rizal. This place is famous for its paper mache mask. It is called Land of Paper Mache Giant also. Every year, this place parades beautiful and unique giant figures made of paper mache in the Higantes Festival, which is usually held in the month of November. Proportion and balance are very much observed in making paper mache crafts. This is to make sure that the finished product can stand upright and beautiful. So now I'm gonna teach you how to make a paper mache bowls. Step one, making the plaster or the paste, okay? This recipe is very easy but messy, be prepared. So you're gonna need one half cup of flour, a one, half, one and one half cups of water, one medium size bowl, newspaper, a balloon, a small bowl, first pour, first pour the flour into the bowl, then add the water and then stir. So you have now your plaster or your glue. Okay, that one. And then step number two, let's start. Blow the balloon to the size you want your bowl to be. And then cut the newspaper into strips now. Step number three, covering the balloon. Take the strips and dip them into the plaster, then sell flour with water. Pinch the strip and pull down gently. This should take the leftover plastic off. Then cover the top of half of the balloon. Leave it to dry for overnight, so like this, okay? And then after that, in the morning, after drying it up overnight, pop the balloon and the balloon should come right out. After that, cut the bowl so the edges are level to each other. Then you can paint your bowl any color you want. So like this, it will become like this. So you can paint kahit one color lang, okay po? So this one is your artwork for this week. Okay, you're gonna make your own paper mache bowls. Please get your book again and open it on page 208. I will read the instruction. It says here, use a red crayon to check the sentence that describes taka and paper mache artworks. If it describes the paper mache, it tells about paper mache or taka, you're gonna check the line. Number one, taka is the Filipino version of horse piñata. Check or not. Number two, only water is used to wet and let paper stick together to make paper mache. Check or X. Number three, Paete Laguna is well known for its taka. Check or not. Number four, Angono Rizal is famous for paper mache mask and the Gigantes Festival. Check or, egg or not. And number five, a good paper mache is proportioned and balanced. Check or not. Okay, for your assignment, take a picture of pages 118 and 208, then send it in our class dojo. Also, take a picture of your paper mache bowl, then send it in class dojo on or before April 5, 2021. Thank you everyone and see you next week. Bye!